First, we perform this multiplication, 2 over 5 multiplied by 5. The 5 simplify with each other, and only 2 remains. In the end, 6 divided by 2 becomes 3. But this answer is not correct because we did not follow one of the most important rules of mathematics. This rule is called the order of operations. What is the order of operations, when a mathematical expression contains several different operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, roots, and parentheses, these operations must be performed in a specific order to reach the correct answer. To better understand the order of operations, pay attention to the example. 6 minus 3 times 2. If we first calculate 6 minus 3, it becomes 3. And 3 multiplied by 2 becomes 6. But if from the beginning we calculate 3 multiplied by 2, it becomes 6. And 6 minus 6 becomes 0. In your opinion, which answer is correct, 0 or 6? To prevent disorder in mathematics, scientists long ago agreed on a universal rule for the correct order of operations. This correct order of operations is known by a short and concise expression called PEMDAS, and each letter in the word PEMDAS stands for a specific step. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents and roots. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate the parentheses, then we calculate the exponents, after the exponents we perform the multiplications and divisions, and finally we do the additions and subtractions. Multiplication and division have equal priority, so whenever both appear in an expression, move from left to right and perform whichever you reach first. This rule also applies to addition and subtraction. To better understand PEMDAS, let's solve a few examples. Before solving the examples, please like this video right now, and to make sure you do not miss future specialized lessons, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer. 5 minus 1 multiplied by 5 minus 1. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate inside the parentheses, 5 minus 1 gives us 4. And the expression becomes 5 minus 1 multiplied by 4. When a number is next to parentheses, it means multiplying that number by the value inside the parentheses, but usually, for simplicity, the multiplication sign is not written. In this expression, we now have subtraction and multiplication. Since multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction, we perform the multiplication first. 1 multiplied by 4 becomes 4. And finally, 5 minus 4 gives us 1. The final answer is 1. 8 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 plus 1. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate inside the parentheses. 2 plus 1 gives us 3. And the expression becomes 8 divided by 4 multiplied by 3. Since multiplication and division have the same priority, we move from left to right, performing whichever comes first. In this expression, we first encounter division. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And finally, 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6. The final answer is 6. 5 to the power of 2 minus 3 multiplied by 5 divided by the square root of 9. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate inside the parentheses. 3 multiplied by 5 gives us 15. And the expression becomes 5 to the power of 2 minus 15 divided by the square root of 9. Next, we calculate exponents and roots. 5 to the power of 2 is 25. The square root of 9 is 3. So the expression becomes 25 minus 15 divided by 3. Division has a higher priority than subtraction, so we first perform 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And then 25 minus 5 gives us 20. The final answer is 20. 
Now, let's solve the question from the beginning of the video. Before we start, if you haven't liked the video yet, do it now, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming lessons. 6 divided by 2 over 5 multiplied by 5, in this question, we have both division and multiplication. According to PEMDAS, we perform these operations from left to right. First, we do the division, 6 divided by 2 over 5. To solve this part of the question, we use the KCF rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Here's how it works, keep the first number as it is, change the division sign to multiplication, flip the second number, take its reciprocal. Therefore, the expression 6 divided by 2 over 5 becomes 6 multiplied by 5 over 2. Which is, 6 multiplied by 5 is 30, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Finally, 15 multiplied by 5 gives 75. The correct answer is 75, not 3. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel.